Friends, uh, a new update from Iceland as uh, things are developing so fast that um, I need to keep you updated. So we have uh, the entire city of Grindavik, uh, population of circa 4,000 evacuated by now already. People have been moved to Salfos in the south of Iceland. There are big uh, sports halls and schools where they place those people there. The people had to leave all their belongings, everything overnight uh, all of a sudden all the population had to be evacuated evacuated so what is happening this is the article uh, from icelandic morning newspaper published uh, just uh, one hour ago this news came and it says that there is much more magma there than has been seen in the area before much more than Fagradas felt. So we will see very powerful eruption. Here you see the picture. There is a town of Grindavik and the fissure is extending right here. You see along those craters in the middle. That's uh, There is no yet eruption, but that's where the magma is traveling. And they can see it from the earthquakes and GPS system. So the amount of magma that is currently moving in a magma tunnel or corridor that runs from Sudnuka Gigar and towards Grindavik, the, the one I showed you in, in my previous video, is significantly greater than what has been seen in the largest intrusions that have occurred in connection with eruptions in Fagadas Fjall. So can you imagine how much magma can come on the first day of the eruption? It will be a super powerful eruption. This is stated in an announcement on the website of the Norwegian Meteorological Agency. There is a possibility that magma has extended under the city of Grindavik, as morning newspaper has already reported. Major changes in functionality. The announcement states that there have been major changes in seismic activity and the deformation of Earth's crust this late in the day, and the seismic activity has moved south towards the city of Grindavik. The theory of magma passage under the town is based on this and also on the results of GPS measurements. Magma is pushing towards Grindavik and might come up to the surface there. At this stage, it is not possible to say exactly if and where magma can reach the surface. We don't know for sure, but there are indications that the considerable amount of magma is moving in an area that runs from Sunnuka craters in the north towards Grindavik. Says the announcement, the amount of magma involved is significantly greater than what has been seen in the largest magma intrusions that occurred in connection with the volcanic eruptions at Fagradasfjall. Additional data has been collected to calculate models that give a more accurate picture of the magma tunnel. At this moment, it's not possible to say when that work will end. Now, now the news. Uh, now, from the night, I um, immediately translated this uh, to English. Evacuation completed uh, and uh, no end to tremors. So here you see people of Grindavik being evacuated, the city of 4,000 people, uh, fishing capital of Iceland, a major fishing center, uh, which definitely will have, for eruption will take place in the city, will impact Iceland's economy. Uh, here you see the city, residents of the city call, um, um, moved away from collection point in the town in the night all of a sudden. Large magma tunnel is believed to have extended under Grindavik. The state of emergency has been declared and the city of Grindavik has been evacuated according to information from public defense. I was been just talking now to passengers as I drive taxi in the night and the people had been moved to Salfos, as I told you, uh, which is uh, the city in the south of Iceland, some uh, 100 kilometers away. You see, they're using uh, one of the largest bus companies in Iceland, Gudmundur, uh, Jonasson, to evacuate the people in the night. So this is a major development uh, from Iceland, biggest news, uh, which happened at, um, now. So things are getting quite dramatic as you see uh, yeah here you see the picture of this area um, uh, where the magma tunnel extends there you see smokes uh, from the lagoon to the right the top and the city of Grindavik is to the left top and here you see those craters uh, lined uh, from 
right to towards the city that's how more approximately how the magma tunnel extends that's where I have the most shallow earthquakes as you see in my previous videos so this is what is happening the city of Grindavik evacuated which is um, very sad of course for the people I hope they will be able to return and I hope that I really hope that the eruption will take place further north and they will be able to to protect the city at least from from this let's pray that the eruption wouldn't uh, take place right in the city as it is as one of the biggest cities in us one of the most important ones we don't have many cities here that's Grindavik is significantly important for Iceland's economy uh, and overall all the best to you be well